I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and in this video tutorial we are going to go through the steps of connecting your domain to your custom Shopify site. So doing this in turn launches the site and puts it live out to the world, so this is the very last step that you want to do, um, but let's go ahead and get started with how to connect everything. So right here you can see I'm in the back end of my Shopify store, and I am under Online Store, and then Domains. So what I'm launching here is for a new business called Tomo Fit. Um, I've created a custom coming soon page, which you can see here. And so I'm going to now connect the domain. This isn't going to be launching until June 1st. However, I want to go ahead and start driving some traffic with Facebook ads, as well as getting um, some email signups. So I want to go ahead and connect the domain now and go ahead and push this out there so I can start doing that marketing. And just a little side note. If you would love to see kind of a behind the scenes of how I launch a business and grow the sales, definitely sign up for the email newsletter because I'm going to be sharing all the behind the scenes access of how I grow a business, sharing the, the actual Facebook ads that I'm running, my conversions and traffic numbers, my strategies every month of what my goals are of how to keep growing the business. So if you'd like some of that behind the scenes access, definitely go over and sign up at tomofit.com. But before I say that, we've got to launch up tomofit.com. So we're going to go back here to the Shopify store. Now, if you do go to domains and you're not seeing this here, like I'm seeing the connector by a domain, and that means you probably need to actually upgrade your plan and actually purchase one of the monthly Shopify plans. That's the only way that you're able to add a domain to your store. So once you go through and select which plan is best for you, then you can go in and you'll see the screen that I'm seeing now, which will let you connect the domain. So I've already purchased the domain with another provider called Bluehost. So I'm going to come up here to connect existing domain. You can, however, if you haven't purchased the domain yet, purchase that from Shopify by clicking the buy new domain button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the connect existing domain. And I'm going to put in the domain that I have, which is tomofit.com, and hit next. And this is going to prompt me on how to set everything up. So we are not going to verify it yet because we haven't connected it. So I'm going to go to follow the Bluehost instructions. Now, if you have GoDaddy as your service provider, um, you actually have the option to log into your GoDaddy account and instantly connect it up, which is really nice. However, if you don't have GoDaddy, you are going to have to follow these steps. And this is going to be the same. It varies a little bit with each provider. However, the same process of editing your DNS zone editor and your records is going to be the same. So here it gives the instructions. And I really just want to go to this in terms of the actual IP address to put in. So I'm going to now go to the back end of my Bluehost account, and this is the DNS zone editor. So you're going to log into wherever you've purchased your domain, and it'll be either called the DNS zone editor or manage DNS records. So it's typically found under a domains area, and then you'll see one of those things associated with your domain. So with Bluehost, it's called DNS zone editor. So here you can see that we have the domain as tomofit.com. So that's the one I want to change. And you can add additional records. However, we want to go ahead and change what the records already are to go ahead and get that pointed over. So the first that we're going to change is the A record, which you can see here with the at symbol. We're going to click edit. And what we're going to change is this what it points to. So I'm going to go back to the instructions that they gave. And I'm going to copy this number right here. This is Shopify's IP address that we have to connect it to to get it to show up. So I'm going to paste that in and hit save. And then the last one that we want to edit is the www record. So this, the CNAME record that's the www, that'll show if someone types in the www.tomofit.com, it'll redirect correctly. I'm going to come back to this original document and come down here and I am going to just verify that it is going to be the myshopify.com. So how you get this, it's actually your business name. So back in the back end of Shopify, 
you'll see up in the URL bar, mine is tony-fit.myshopify.com. So I'm going to copy that. And that's also what you're seeing now whenever I go to the front end of the store. It's all of this right here. So this is what we want to copy. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste it and hit save. Now, just to let you know, a lot of times this does take about, you know, one to two hours. Sometimes it can take a little longer. On average, I've noticed that it does go pretty quickly. Um, however, just be a little bit patient with that. Um, just to make sure that everything goes through. And that's all you need to do with your DNS zone editor now that we've saved it. And after you wait an hour or two, you would come back and you hit the verify connection. And that'll actually show if you've connected or not. Um, let's see, this might actually show that it's coming through. Awesome. Wow. I said an hour or two, but um, that was like a minute or two. Um, so you can see now that it's showing up here. You can add additional domains. So, for example, I also bought tomofitapparel.com. Um, and so I'll also go in and add that as well so that either one that someone enters will go through. And right here is where you have the set primary domain. So, for example, if once I add the tomofitapparel.com, it would show up here and I would be able to select which one I wanted it to be. So I want to have tomofit.com and I want to redirect all traffic to this domain. So I'm going to keep that checked. And then as soon as we go back to the front end of the store, I'm going to refresh this. And you can see instantly this changes now to tomofit.com. So now our new domain is ready to use, start sharing with the world. And yeah, this essentially launches your site. So the last step would just be to make sure that you've removed your password um, in terms of launching your site. And I'm going to take you that real quick. So again, we're under the online store. And now I'm going to go to Preferences, and you can tell if the password's enabled right here with this Enable Password page. If you have this checked and you want to officially launch your store with your new domain, make sure you uncheck that, and that will automatically push it out there. Now, again, keep in mind that in terms of showing up your site showing up in the search engines, it does typically take about two weeks based on how long it takes for Google and the other search engines to crawl your website. So don't think that as soon as you launch your site, it's instantly going to be searched in Google. Uh, give it some time. Just wait a little bit on that one. But you can go ahead and start sharing because now your domain is live and connected to your store. So you can do a lot of social media and go ahead and start doing some ad campaigns. Awesome. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And remember to head over to tomofit.com to get some behind-the-scenes access of how I'm launching this new business.